All right, welcome back to Oceans Unlimited. We're going to be coming at you today with a new video on loading to a freeboard draft. These are going to be Coast Guard questions of a particular type, and these questions are going to be using the data reference guide, the blue pages. So this is going to be provided to you if you take the Coast Guard exams. Our resources for this video are going to be coming from Stability and Trim for the ship's officer, pages 413, 434, and the questions that we're going to be going through, we're going to look at three different examples that are going to be on the deck safety exam for deck officers, mates, and masters, and all of that. Okay, so this is going to be the first page out of the blue pages. So the key word in the problems that we're going to be looking at are going to be talking about loading down to a freeboard draft. That's your tip off that you're going to need page one, which is the dead weight scale. We're going to be looking at the draft in particular, this column here. You'll have a plimsoll mark here that indicates your maximum safe load line, your maximum freeboard draft as per your vessel specifications. For right now, we're going to ignore the outer two columns here and here. We're going to be focused on particularly the displacement column here. That's this one here and the dead weight column here. Both of these columns are going to be reflecting the increase in tonnage. Uh, the dead weight is going to be cargo exclusive, and then the displacement is simply the cargo plus the light ship. These two numbers are going to mimic each other. The difference is that the displacement is simply going to include your starting light ship weight, your empty vessel of 4,521 tons. So if we have a completely empty ship, no cargo loaded, just the ship weight by itself, we're assuming that our draft would be somewhere at this level, right? If we looked at the draft marks on the side of the ship, they'd be almost to 10 feet. Then as we are increasing our cargo weight here, we increase our displacement and we're going to be looking to see how much cargo we need to add till our water line goes all the way up past 28 to our freeboard draft mark here, 28 six inches and three quarters. Despite the mechanic of the water line rising, we have to remember that the entire ship is going lower in the water, sitting lower, and that's where we get the phraseology loading down to freeboard draft. Pretty straightforward. Okay, let's take a look at some examples. So our first question, a vessel's drafts are 19 feet, zero inches forward, 21 feet, 10 inches aft. How much more cargo can be loaded to have the vessel down to freeboard draft? Use the information in section one, the blue pages of the stability data reference book. Okay. So the first thing we're going to need to do is calculate our mean draft. That's the average draft between the forward and aft draft marks. And that's going to be roughly midships draft. So we have 19 feet forward, 21, 10 aft, and we're going to be looking to calculate the mean, which is the approximate midship draft. So a little side note before we start, we're not really going to be concerned with salinity, ballast, or seasonal load line markings. So we can forget about any of these ideas for right now. With these particular questions, the Coast Guard is only concerned that you understand adding cargo increases the draft. That's it. So let's get our mean draft. 21, 10 inches, 19 even. And we add them to get 40 feet, 10 inches. Divide by two. And we're looking at 20 feet, five inches. That's our midship draft. We're going to enter our dead weight scale with 20 feet, 5 inches, our midship draft. There's our water line. We're going to then look at our displacement column and find the corresponding value. Now you're going to have to estimate a little bit. Each one of these hashes is worth 100 tons of cargo. 
So we got one, two, three, four. So between 300 and 400, we're going to call it 10,380. So that value 10,380, we're going to subtract that from our maximum displacement. And the leftover amount is going to be the answer to our question. 15,199, that's our maximum displacement. And I'm going to use the uh, delta for displacement. And we're going to subtract what we estimated our current level was based on our current midship draft or current mean draft. We're getting 10,380. It's our current displacement, which gives us. 4,819 tons, that's the amount that we have room for, and that'll bring us down to our freeboard draft. Let's look at another one. Example two, your vessel's drafts are 14 feet, four inches forward, 12 feet, eight inches aft. How much more cargo can be loaded to have the vessel down to the freeboard draft? We're gonna be looking again at the same steps. Mean draft comes first. We're going to take 14, 4 inches forward, 12 feet, 8 inches aft. It's going to give us an even foot here, plus 26, 27 feet. That's our combined draft. And then we're going to have to divide by 2 to get our average draft or our midship draft. And we're going to be looking at 13, 06. 13 feet six inches. Once we have our average draft here, we're going to take it to our dead weight scale and plug it in. So we have 13.6, 13.5, that's going to be this mark right here. And we draw that in and we get a nice convenient round number this time. That's going to be awesome. It makes our math a lot easier. So we have 6,500 and we're going to be using our maximum draft again. So we got 15,199. The max is going to be the same for each and every one of these lovely questions. We're going to subtract our current displacement, 6,500. We get 9, 9, 6, and 8. So 8,699 tons, that's gonna to be our answer for this one. So I'm like in option C. There we go. Let's take a look at one more. Same idea, we got forward drafts of 18 feet, nine inches, your after draft 20 feet, three inches, and we're looking for how much more cargo we can fit in to get down to the freeboard draft. So again, those magic words, freeboard draft, that means you're looking at blue page number one. Same process as before. We're going to find the mean draft first. Looking at 18.09 forward, 20 feet, 03 aft. That gives us a total of 39 even. That's our combined draft and we're gonna divide by two gives us 19 feet six inches okay 19 six let's go back to our dead weight scale and we're gonna enter 19 six onto our scale it's gonna be right about here there we go. And once again, we're going to play our little guessing game. We've got uh, six, seven, eight, nine, eight hundred. And we'll call it about 50. The hardest part really is just kind of guesstimating where exactly it is. The nice thing about this question is that we see the answers are radically different, right? They have completely different zip codes in terms of what, what uh, amount of tonnage we're looking at. We 
We got 15, 199 for our max displacement. We're taking away 98.50. So how many tons do we have left to go? We got nine, four, three, five. 5,349 tons. And that amount of cargo is gonna bring us up to our maximum draft, our freeboard line. It's nice when they work out nice and even but again, that's not always the case. So be prepared to just be able to eliminate the most extreme incorrect answers. That's how you do the freeboard draft stability problems that show up on your deck safety exams. Hopefully you found this video enlightening or interesting or somehow useful. Uh, let us know, give us a comment, feedback if you wanna see different types of Coast Guard exam questions, we like to solve all of them for you. So whichever ones you guys are interested in, please do let us know. All right, thanks for checking us out. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.